Now leaving from Buckingham Palace. I, uh, she leaves Buckingham Palace and I explain the route that she'll take in a moment because we'll see first of all just this part of her journey. In the Irish state coach. Driven for the last time by Arthur Scholl, the head coachman in this coach which was built by Queen Victoria in Dublin and used by her for state openings too. Smiling, her husband, the Duke of Edinburgh, is not here this year. He's away on business abroad. So she will have the Prince and Princess of Wales with her. If you keep a close eye on that coach, you may be able to see them because they're accompanying her on the journey down what is normally the bright red carpet of the Mall, but under this rain has become a rather grisly grey of the Mall. The Queen and the Princess of Wales seen for the first time there, with a white choker of pearls around her neck and a white tiara smiling as she comes into Trafalgar Square and turns down past the Whitehall Theatre with the escort of horse guards behind down towards Westminster. Is just outside the Palace of Westminster approaching the Victoria Tower. A small wave to the boys of Westminster School as she passes them. Emmanuel and the Lord Great Chamberlain behind him, the Earl Marshal on the left, leading the Queen and the Prince and Princess of Wales. In silence, they walk the full length, the Queen now with the Imperial State Crown, her four young pages behind her, the Princess of Wales on the right, and the Prince of Wales on the left, with the Sword of State and the Cap of Maintenance, the Earl Marshal and the Lord Great Chair. And this is effectively the procession of the sovereign and of her household because behind them and behind the prince and princess of wales there are all the senior members of the royal household the young page boy on the very bottom right you can just see of your picture just behind the queen's crown is a cousin of the queen mother james bowes lyme
So she instructs everyone to sit and in a moment she'll give a signal to the Lord Great Chamberlain who will raise his white staff on the right there to Black Rod and order him to go down to the House of Commons to summon the members of the other house. Session of Parliament. Speech which the Lord Chancellor carries in his purse to the Queen on the throne. My Lord saw PACT and the other welcome developments in the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe permit changes to NATO's strategy and will enable us to maintain our security with smaller forces. Efforts will continue to control the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction and to encourage greater international responsibility in the transfer of conventional weapons. They will press for long-term peace in the Middle East, including a settlement of the Palestinian problem. They will continue their efforts to secure the release of hostages in the Middle East. A substantial aid program aimed at promoting sustainable economic and social progress and good government in developing countries will be maintained. My government will continue to support the Commonwealth. My government will continue to administer Hong Kong in the interests of its people and to cooperation will be introduced to provide for a new council tax, to establish a review of local government structure in England and to enhance competitive tendering for local authority services presented to create an offence of prison mutiny and to increase the maximum penalty for aiding prisoners to escape. And so the Lord Chancellor retrieves the speech from the Queen on the throne backwards down the steps and away to one side. The four pages come forward to take this long parliament robe. And the whole parliament chamber rises for the queen to leave. And now, just as in a medieval court, the queen or the sovereign would have brought, been brought in with due ceremony, she's escorted out with the same ceremony, everybody standing, all the various estates of the realm, as the head of state leaves the parliament chamber. And once again, the solemnity of this, with no attempt to make it other than what it is. The Prince and Princess of Wales, who are here for the first time for seven years, attending this state opening. The princess in cream silk evening dress, 
all the women here dress in evening dress for this occasion unless they have their own robes in their own right. The Earl Marshal there bowing, just disappearing out of sight. The gentlemen at arms, we don't often see the most senior of the bodyguards of the sovereign.